everyone, I am Alice of KHR Arts and Cloud Orchid Publishing and today we are going to talk about how to use daily routines for characterization. Now I do have a previous video on how to create unique characters via characterization. The link for that will be in the description below. This is going to be a deeper dive into the detail of how exactly to establish characterization via things like the daily routine or work or school. Now this is a very fine line to walk because unfortunately it is a technique that is overused. It is overused most often with the writer over describing a character's outfit, over describing a character's morning routine, over describing what a character does for their job, or even just giving a laundry list of they woke up, they brushed their teeth, they went to work, they came home, they ate dinner, just giving us the entire rundown of their entire day every single day of the story while it's happening. And that is the extreme of this and it's completely unnecessary and absolutely don't do that. However, you can use elements of that in your story in order to establish characterization. What exactly does that mean? So for instance, an ER nurse's typical day is going to look very different than let's say a cashier working at a grocery store. Those are gonna be two very different days. And then we break it down further. Maybe one of them is a single parent and the other one is a college student. Maybe one of them is a senior citizen who lost their retirement to gambling and now they have to go back to work. Maybe one of them is a young teen who got thrown out of their house and now they have to grow up really fast. See how those kinds of humdrum daily routines can all of a sudden tell you all about who they are as a person and what their life probably looks like. Having that little snapshot placed into your story can really help us to identify who the character is, what their motivations are, and what they're all about. But you don't want to be heavy-handed with that. So for instance, maybe to establish what a character's socioeconomic status is, you might want to describe that they're using the bottom of the barrel, cheapest on sale coffee. And you know what, it tastes kind of gritty, but at least it wakes them up so that they can get started with their day. Or maybe you wanna describe every morning, this person makes sure that they make a super fresh green smoothie because they are just all about keeping healthy and they only use vegetables from the local farmer's market. Those are two beverages that those characters probably drink every single morning, but don't they tell you a whole lot about who that character is, their socioeconomic status, and probably what the rest of their day is gonna look like? Putting in those small details and make sure you spread them out over the course of your story. And that helps to really paint the picture of the character without it sounding like a laundry list of, and then they did this, and then they did that, and blah, blah, blah. Because you want the reader to come with you on the story. You don't just want to lay out a list of events for them to follow along and check off, because that's honestly not interesting. You want to immerse your reader into the story. So a good way to do that is maybe in chapter one, you describe what their morning beverage is, and then maybe in chapter three, you describe what it looks like when they come home from work in great detail. Spreading that out throughout the story helps us to see who the character is without it becoming exhausting. You also don't need to repeat yourself. So if you make it obvious in chapter one that this character drinks their crappy coffee every single morning, you only have to tell us that they do it once. You don't have to tell us every single time that they wake up in the story unless something changes. So let's say maybe midway through the story when we're getting to the main point of where life-changing stuff is happening to our character and they go to the store to grab their crappy on sale coffee and they suddenly have that realization of, oh my God, I got that big promotion. I don't have to buy this anymore. And then they start looking around the aisle for what coffee do I actually want to drink? That's a fun way to take a very simple daily routine kind of moment and making it into a big character moment. Or the opposite, maybe our character that always drinks a super fresh green smoothie is going through something really rough and maybe for the first time in forever they're like, you know what, I just really need a crappy beer. I'm feeling really crappy about myself 
and I just really need a crappy beer so that I can just mire myself in how crappy I feel right now. What exactly is going on in their life to make them feel that crappy? What exactly is going to happen when they go completely off their routine and get that crappy beer? There's a lot that can be happening in that kind of characterization in something that is so simple and ordinarily so banal. Exploring these kind of things can really help set the tone for your story. So make sure that you do it judiciously. Make it interesting for your reader. Ask yourself, does my reader need to know this? So it's, again, the blue curtains theory. Does the reader really need to know that the character has blue curtains in their bedroom? Is that helping the story any? Is that helping us to understand the character at all? If not, don't put it in. So I hope this has been helpful. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like. And if you're new, subscribe. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.